Last summer, I got roped into competing against the best cliff jumpers in the world, some of which were a group of Norwegians that grew up doing a very different kind of diving. I knew they were crazy, but I didn't know how crazy until recently when I got a call. Tanner, come to Norway. What, like this summer? Right now, the water is perfect. I bet it's freaking freezing there, no way. <laughs> Haven't you always wanted to see the northern light? Uh, yeah? Well, they only come out in the winter time. Is that right? And so began the most absurd adventure that I will probably ever go on. Let's go on an adventure. Despite the 24 hour travel time, when I told my family about the possibility of experiencing the Aurora, something we've all dreamed of for years, they quickly decided to join me. We might see the Northern Lights. If we don't, I'm literally committing a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I think the streets will remain safe from my sister because on our flight over the Atlantic, not only did we see these Northern Lights, but we actually saw the Northern Lights. Well, not really. My camera did, but this is what we actually saw. We got the sneak peek. It'd been a full day without sleep and only eating terrible airport food. What the f is that, mate? But at last, we were descending on our final flight, and that's when I realized just what I'd gotten myself into. Yet my family didn't seem worried at all. What have we done? We <laughs> left decent weather for this. I probably would have been smart to change. I'm realizing now. The Norwegians were laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, I had a farewell breakfast with the fam, which I hoped wouldn't be a final farewell, before leaving to meet up with the crazy cliff jumpers that I'd be joining for the next several days. Now you may think I'm being dramatic, saying that I'm risking my life by joining them, but a 30-foot cliff in the warm state of Texas is a walk in the park compared to what they normally do. If you didn't know, this appropriately titled style of diving is called death diving. And you're probably wondering, who in their right mind would ever want to intentionally land on their face? But it's actually a very popular sport here in Europe. So much so, that all of the guys coach large groups of kids every week at their local pools. That, along with being broadcasted by various news stations and sports channels, has led them to become somewhat of local celebrities. And rather than just filming from the sidelines like a typical documentary, I'm literally about to be diving into their world. You ready to freeze your uh, as I'll ever be. Tanner actually told me he's not putting the wetsuit on. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> you heard a rumor about me? Yeah, I heard a rumor. <laughs> Despite the guys giving me crap about it, we stopped to get me a wetsuit and some water shoes before heading to the first spot. Here we go. Oh man, if I go and I back out now that I put this wetsuit on, I'm gonna be mega, mega. <laughs> We're not going to mention it at all. Yeah, no, no, no. not at all. <laughs> so I'm mostly worried about the temperature of the water, but the guys seem to be more concerned about the takeoff. If it's icy like this, it's a dangerous spot. Everything seems to be ice underneath. Yep. <laughs> all right, 30 minute hike in the snow begins now. I'm already freezing it. <laughs> it is negative two. And we're just gonna go hop in the ocean. <laughs> These guys just have a good time, making jokes. I'm freaking out. <laughs> the spot was really hard to find today. We actually made a wrong turn probably four or five times. It's it's slippery here, so be careful, okay? <laughs> Whoa, are you good, bro? We made it to the spot. But uh, where they're jumping is up there. We don't know how we're gonna get up there. It's all icy. I don't think this spot is actually doable if the takeoff is full of ice. So I'll see if I can come from the top and maybe throw down a rope or something. Anders managed to secure a rope, making the treacherous climb safe ish but there was still the problem of the icy takeoff we're hoping whoever finds our cameras can edit something good together and we'll leave a note with our passwords to our channel so <laughs> i was clearly uneasy about going through with this but they insisted the jump was doable and started getting ready we got the youngest going first skip school to be here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's your> <sighs> Oh my god. 
Oh, you good? Let's go. Since Christopher's jump went well and he was feeling great, <coughs> Seaman climbed up to go next. I'm debating sofa or death dive. Sofa or death dive. What do you say, Taylor? Sofa. <laughs> you know it's 17 meters sofa. It's kind of dangerous. You know that, right? What's a sofa, you ask? Well, I'll just let him show you. Ready? I need to go into my uh, inner. Uh... Come on! Are we ready to rock? Five, four, three, two, one. So far! Oh! Oh! Is he good? You good? You good? He's not talking, you good? Yeah! Seaman is crazy. He's always crazy. How's your cheeks? I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I can't feel them. And the last pro, with no hesitation at all, was Anders. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that felt good! You're crazy. How are you so relaxed right now? It's all about the breathing. Focus on breathing and staying calm. You're crazy. I am very nervous right now. I usually love cliff jumping. I've never done anything like this. I feel like I'm the most normal guy to ever try to do crazy things. Like, I'm so nervous. They're all cheering and all this, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but without any more Norwegians to let me keep procrastinating, my time had finally come. Grab the brush. Oh, that's thorns. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got you. Welcome to Norway. Ah, I'm feeling welcomed. Ugh. Oh my God, it's so high up. Holy sh**. How can that edge bro? Tanner is actually going next and I think he's really nervous. I am very close to backing out. I'm not sure because it's very slippery. I feel this is too dangerous for me. As you can probably tell, this is the most terrified I have ever been for any stunt. I had to trust that this tiny little brush pile would give me the grip I needed to not slip. If Seaman survived this, you're definitely surviving. They all believe in you. I don't believe in myself. The feeling you will have when you're back in land is the best one ever. I like genuinely believe you got this. I stood on the edge looking down at the water for another five minutes until eventually I made my decision. All right, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kansas. Just kidding. I wish. Ah! Yeah. You got this, bro. In five. five. Hold on. Let's start from ten, maybe. Ah! Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one, seven. Holy cow. Ah, yeah, brother. What? You actually <laughs> did it, man. <laughs> Congratulations. That might be my highest cliff jump. That was insane. Sorry, I sat up there so long. We've been there, man. We've been there. My fingers and feet, I can't feel them. Well, it wasn't a death dive, and I did have a wetsuit on, but I still can't believe I actually did it. Moreover, I can't believe all of the guys walked away completely unscathed considering their landings, especially Siemens. How could anyone, let alone a 46-year-old man, take this much impact without consequence? It seemed too good to be true, and as it turned out, it was. Are you good? What's happening? No. Why are you walking like this? This is probably my worst landing ever. I don't know what happened, but uh, something happened. We were a little bit worried there for a couple of... We still are. <laughs> yes, we, we still are. We still are worried. From that high and with it being that cold, you could seriously break your back. I know. Landing on your butt. I mean, dude, I just hope that you're going to be all right. What's crazy is he's been completely fine after hundreds of the same landing from similar heights, including his world record of 79 feet he did just last year. But after what was essentially a routine jump, here he was barely able to walk. We just had semen checked out by a physical therapist and uh, now we're on our way to the hospital, hoping the best for him. I feel so bad. Right in there. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Ta -ta, semen.
Before we check in on Seaman, I want to take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark's virtual private network keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies and cyber criminals. Also, a VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one, also known as changing your IP address. Masking your IP address is essential to becoming fully private online. This is especially useful for when you're on free public Wi-Fi, which can be a goldmine for hackers. And Surfshark liberates your internet by unblocking blocked websites and bypassing geo restrictions. This way, you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. And since Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in over 100 countries, you can access and unblock content libraries and streaming services from other countries, like the entire Netflix libraries. So if you're traveling like I am right now, you can switch your location back to your home so you don't miss out on any of your favorite shows. And right now, if you use the code Tanner, you can get 83% off plus three extra months free. Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in giving it a try. So to sign up today, just click the link at the top of the description. All right, let's get back to the video. I called Seaman the next day to see how he was doing, and to my surprise, <laughs> back one day, look at him, fresh out of the wheelchair, he's, he's jumping around with joy. What happened? You just need to sleep it off? Yeah. Yeah. He might even be jumping again on this trip. Can't break semen You can't, you can't. do it. You can't. The hospital scans didn't show any sign of injury, so despite still being in pain, Seaman was able to join for day two. We're about to check out a Norwegian diving center. I am so excited. An enjoyable day. Let's go. This is crazy. This is my local pool, and you're gonna see some sick young death divers today. They will take over the throne, <laughs> for sure. I was very excited to learn more about death diving and get some practice, but they'd left out one small detail. Today was not a practice session. It was a death diving show, and I was unknowingly the opening act. They convinced the owners to open up the small hatches on the roof, which I would jump through to land in the pool, a stunt that has only been done by Emil, Anders, and Seaman. I touched it a little bit. Yeah, I did it, yeah. You touched the walls? Yeah, a little bit. Seaman, he was like... Do, 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 do. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're not jumping through no, the window? I've survived twice. I don't need... To try it again. <laughs> the biggest thing is that we have to avoid these pipes on the way down, and it's already really tight. Correctly say. You ready? They count them down, down there. Anders was not joking. These kids absolutely blew my mind and definitely put my deaf dives to shame. So, in an attempt to uphold my reputation, I had no choice but to bust out some of the tricks I was used to. Hurt so I should have went into a death dive. Yeah, that would be better. It probably yeah. would have been better. He thought he was a good flipper. Oh! <laughs> Landing on the feet is for this. Yeah. <laughs> One more. One more? Yeah, triple. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah, if the kids triple, you triple. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo! Almost. I still, I still took it to the stomach. I think I'm done. I tried my best. You tried. <laughs> to my surprise, I think my reputation with the Norwegians may have even improved after my painful flops. I guess I just keep forgetting they do things differently here. Oh! I'm not dead yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh! yesterday <laughs> after leaving the diving center I spent the rest of the evening getting to see what a foreign trampoline park was like and the answer was not as awesome as mine check out the footpad.net for business hours and private bookings at the ultimate trampoline park all right let's get back on track well we're gonna freeze tomorrow <laughs> Jeez, looks like good swimming weather to me are you ready yeah, <laughs> we live for it. This is why we were born. <laughs> we're going up north to Elverum. Elverum. 
Elverum. Elverum. It's gonna be colder, it's gonna be tougher, and I've done the hike before. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> the reason we had to get up so early was to drive three hours north in order to meet up with this man. His name is Ken, a self-proclaimed modern Viking who swims in the ice daily, deadlifts 640 pounds, and of course, death dives. closest to a viking you will ever meet. Most of the days off he will go out in the wilderness and sleep there. Well this weather tells it all. Hiking in this is going to be unreal. I think we're almost there. Oh sh**. <laughs> you guys are so stupid! After that very warm welcome, we started getting ready for today's objective. Jump a giant frozen waterfall. Look at how deep this snow is. Oh my god. And we're doing like a one hour hike. And we don't even know if it's possible to jump it. <laughs> Let's hunt some clips. <laughs> Yo, the Viking flips as well. Eventually, the trail came to an end, and from here, it was going to be rough, especially for whoever was in the front. It's safe to say the fun was officially over. Well, for the most part. <laughs> 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 the nature's lollipop. I've only seen something like this in a movie. Yeah, and it now is... we're going swimming as well. <laughs> uh, we are here at the cliff. It doesn't look good at all. We may have just walked all this way for nothing. Sure enough, after all of our time and effort, we had run into a major issue. It's been so cold here that the waterfall and river beneath it were almost completely frozen, but there was still a hole, so we weren't giving up yet. I see water, I have hope, I have access. There what is. more do I need in life? Oh! I'm buried. This cliff was even higher than the first one we jumped, so the hole was going to have to be made much bigger. If you're going through the ice now and underneath, you're dead. Yeah. yeah. The closer we get to the edge, the more dangerous it becomes. We are all about safety, so this is our safety rope. The Viking chipped away at the ice, seemingly making good progress, until... Ah! This is not gonna work, because we hit like the ice underneath, there's two layers of ice. You see, if I turn the axe sideways now and try to pull it up, Stuck. Yeah, so uh, plan C. Plan C. <laughs> Since we couldn't break the ice and because getting swept under it after landing didn't sound the most fun, we quickly hiked out of the forest to make it to another spot before sundown. Let's hope a train doesn't come. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, it looks also frozen, right? Yeah. God damn it. No. You're a Viking, right? You'll jump it. Headbutt it. Oh. <laughs> well, that sucks. Okay, we better oh. get off the Yep, floor. there's a train coming. Yikes. <laughs> ah. Oh, we <laughs> ah, Okay, yeah, we're running away from a train. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh boy. Go. And we're off. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Woo! That thing's going fast. <laughs> it's a good thing the water was frozen. Or that could have been really bad. Two attempts and two failures later, we were running out of options. And more importantly, daylight. But the Viking had one more idea. The plan now? We're gonna ride straight into glory. The goal here is to cut off a slab of ice and then ride it down the river. Do flips on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and nobody brought towels, so... Welcome to Norway. <laughs> I've already been here a while, it's not getting better. Vikings almost got us ready for a ride. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's off. Bye, see you later. <laughs> We're on an iceberg. It is so cool. Try on it off! Bye, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't want to go through the ice. Yes! Ah, okay. Do it! Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh. Woo. Oh. 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 oh, 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 my God. Oh, it's breaking, it's breaking. Oh, oh let me on the ice. Oh, it's all sinking, it's sinking. Oh, I'm going to this one. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. No, you're too big, you're gonna sink us both. No! You killed us both. We got Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. 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 
Oh! Ah! I hate you. <laughs> ah! I'm so much worse without the wetsuit. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Am I officially one of you guys? It wasn't off a cliff, but. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I'm never coming back here. <laughs> Ever. I couldn't tell if that was a yes or a no, but after everything that happened today, there are two things I am certain of. One, if modern Vikings are a thing, Ken is definitely one of them. And two, I will never trust one again. How do you think Tanner's doing? Who? I had jumped off a massive cliff, did a couple depth dives, and swam without a wetsuit, but there was still one thing keeping me from gaining the full respect of the Norwegians combining all of those things. And for that, the guys would be taking me to their favorite jumping spot. My local diving tower. This is where I'll learn death diving. That is so sick. The fact that this just exists is so crazy to me. Yeah, and it's like, it's open to the public. Anyone <laughs> can just go here and jump. Hey man, at what height does death diving start? It starts 10 meters, my man. Shut up. <laughs> Look at how high that is. Look, dude, that's over twice the highest one I've ever done. The height of an Olympic high dive in Norway in January. <laughs> Well, let's let's climb up and look at it. Dude, it shakes. It's so shaky. <laughs> that was a long climb. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The only way I'm doing it is if someone's first and down there. In the water? I'll go okay, right I, after them. I can be in the water, yeah? but I can't be in the water like if no. you're hesitating. No, yeah. Not, Get I'm out. Not, yeah, I'm yeah. Out of there. Okay, yeah. perfect. That's a deal. Channel my Viking spirit. Ooh. Ooh. No backing out now. Whew. All right. Time to get serious. Here we go. What's up with the shoes, man? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me be. I'm shirtless, ain't I? He's going, which means I'm about to have to go. Oh my God, this is insane. Oh no. Proper Norwegian, man. Yeah. Let's get it. Oh. Yep. Just go straight after. I'm going to. Three, two, M. Oh. oh, you ready? <sighs> Here we go. Let's get it. Three, two, one more look. <laughs> good? I'll get caught. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I'm freezing my ass off here. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Two, one. Here, count for me. Go on. Go on. Count for me, Anders. Three, two, two and three. Two. Let's get to the stairs. Let's go. Let's get warm. Let's go. We Congratulations. Did. Holy. Your first 10 meter death dive. Holy crap. Let's go. I do have a gift for you. What is this? Let's is it, go. This is my hat. Sick. I really made it, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Now you're one of us. <laughs> That's so rad. Well, my jump didn't exactly exude confidence, especially compared to the other guys, but you know what? I don't even care. I was now able to sleep soundly knowing that I had conquered the most extreme form of cliff jumping. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. You call that extreme? You fell off that platform like a little girl. You didn't even jump, man. Now, wake the hell up. And do better for Nadia! So we've just hiked to this frozen lake, built a shelter, and now we're beginning to cut the hole in the ice. This is where we have to land. That's where we're jumping from. As long as you don't slip off the platform, you should be good. To be able to jump from a tower this tall relatively safely, we were going to have to make a pretty good sized hole, which meant moving tons of snow out of the way, getting soaked while cutting the ice, and finally pushing each section underneath. <laughs> 
My first thought when we got here was, this won't take long, it's easy, you just cut a hole. But as the hours passed and the roadblocks began to occur, it became increasingly obvious that this was probably not going to work. We've been cutting the ice for like four hours now, and the main problem is that every time we cut out a bit of ice, the water floods over. That makes like the chainsaw choke up and, oh, I... check this out. For today, we are calling this a failed mission. And I am so wet at my feet. <laughs> it was a bummer to leave knowing that the reason we couldn't finish it was out of our control, but on the other hand, maybe it was for the best. I knew what we were doing had risks, but when one of the guys told me that a friend of theirs was paralyzed after miscalculating an ice hole jump just last year, my stomach sank. Abandoning this idea seemed completely fine now, and I was just happy to be meeting back up with my family in one piece. Getting a break from the craziness to try and find the northern lights sounded exactly like what I needed. Turns out, to get to where the northern lights can be visible, we had to go north. After a two hour flight to the Arctic Circle, we got picked up by a man named Tomas, the owner of the place we would be staying called North Experience Base Camp. I sought out this specific location for one main reason. They have the coolest hotel rooms ever. Glass igloos. Here is one mm, igloo. This is sick. So cozy, it's like a little RV. This is so freaking cool. Literally something I've dreamed about for probably a decade or longer. And I'm here. This is surreal. The camp also had a hot tub, saunas, and even a giant teepee you can have cookouts in. After dropping off our luggage, we were off to see what else the North Experience had to offer. And the first spot did not disappoint. <laughs> Magic ice bar. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is so cool. Don't worry, even Taylor's legal now. <laughs> Our second activity was also a first for the whole family. Yeah, it's uh, minus 15 degrees right now. Oh, and we're gonna go kayaking on land. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready for the X Games. That yeah. was sick. And as if that wasn't enough, Tomas took us on a tour of an ice hotel before returning to camp for dinner. What's for dinner, you ask? Well, actually, you're looking at it. Guess what we're doing? We're eating a reindeer. <laughs> I feel reindeer sad. I wonder if they taste good. Let's find out. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like they pork. It actually really just kind of tastes like pork. Do you think this is common or vixen? <laughs> 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 We're definitely going Not on true. Santa's naughty list. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost midnight on our first night here at base camp, and I've got my alarm set for an hour from now, when apparently the skies are supposed to clear up a bit, and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to see some northern lights. So I'm gonna cross my fingers, shut my eyelids, and see what happens when my alarm goes off. Good night. Yeah? Wait, yeah. you can see them right now? Oh, wow, yeah, I can see that up there. That's pretty sick. That's so cool. I figured they'd be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit underwhelming in person, but still sick. This is the moment I realized that all of the breathtaking photos that made me want to see the lights in the first place must have all just been long exposures or heavily edited. Yeah, I could see a little something, but it wasn't really like anything I'd hoped it'd be. Until five minutes later. They are going crazy right now. There's pink in the sky, they're dancing. This is insane, look at that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that over the mountain! Oh my god! This is the craziest thing I've ever seen, bro. Oh my god, look at that! You can see it on my phone. You can really see it. They're dancing everywhere. Holy crap. First night here. You know it's good when our tour guide gets excited. I'm extremely happy. <laughs> that if we don't see the lights, I'll feel like <laughs> <laughs> Clouds eventually rolled in and would block our view of the sky for the remainder of our time up north. But the hour or so that we got to spend together experiencing what was undoubtedly the highlight of any family trip we've had made it impossible to feel ungrateful. All I've got to say is if you're looking for a once in a lifetime adventure, I couldn't recommend the North experience more. For my last full day in Norway, I originally planned to do some sightseeing and just soak in some of the normal things the country had to offer. But turns out, when nature ruins the plan of a Norwegian, they don't give up very easily. My chainsaw kept on drowning, so today I brought two. The guys had returned to the lake and spent the entire day I was gone attempting to finish the mission we had started, which of course meant that I would be reluctantly returning to the terrifying ice hole. What have you drugged me into? <laughs> that's good, man. Like the yes theory, the Iceman swim documentary. Yeah. Yeah, that's 
Tschüss. <lacht> We're doing all of this just to torture ourselves. The scary thing is that some of this ice is nearly invisible. Yeah, hopefully we got all of those out. I'm currently walking up to the platform for the first time, so I don't even know if I'm gonna jump. I wanna do a death dive, but it's even taller than the tower I was scared to jump off of. Oh dear God. Dear God. You probably have 15 feet of gap to clear before you're at the ledge of the ice. Here comes the real anxiety. Meanwhile, so today we are finally jumping this bad boy. I'm so scared right now. I'm jumping this no matter what. The mental fear of doing the gap is uh, its so hard to deal with. But if I land in the water, even if it's not the best landing, I'll survive. The hole was now cleared. The platform was de-iced. So there was only one thing left to do. We got to make it farther than the ice block. Freaking out, bro. This is insane. another day boom <laughs> let's go that's oh so my dope. god oh my god oh. Tana, my boy <laughs> you did it ah i knew you had it in you the north is proud yes all right see you around my boy At last, my time freezing my butt off had come to an end. As grueling as it was, and as idiotic as it probably seemed to most people, I've come to understand why the guys enjoyed doing this. It's the best feeling. <laughs> after is the best feeling. Yeah, after is ever, the best man. feeling. <laughs> oh, oh, my in the meantime, I'll still be chasing other thrills and continuing what has basically become a series where I try not to die every video. In fact, I've already begun training for the next adventure that you're not going to want to miss. We also have new merch in our shop, so if you want to support the channel, check out tbrunger.com. And with that said, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to follow all the crazy jumpers who helped make this video possible. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!